Hello, and welcome to Access Door County on Sevastopol TV. I had to double check that on my notes. I'm uh, your host, Pete Devlin, and our guest today is Linda Waite, who has been the Sevastopol town clerk treasurer uh, for I have no idea how long, Linda. How many years have you Since been Since 2001, Peter. All right. Mm -hmm. What did you do before that? <laughs> well, I'll give you a little history. Um, I grew up on our family dairy farm just down the street here on County P. Bill and Betty Kino are my parents, and like I said, we, would, we were on a small dairy farm. I went to Sevastopol School. In my senior year, my goal was to get a job, get an apartment, and be self-sufficient. So when I graduated from high school, I didn't uh, obtain a job at uh, Bay Lake Bank at the time, worked there for a while, and then I decided to broaden my horizons, so I moved to Green Bay and started working for a law office and really enjoyed that. Decided to go a little bit further and ended up in Milwaukee for yet another law firm. And lives changed, and in 2002, I found myself back in the town of Sevastopol. My dad had um, been on the Sebastopol town board for a few years. He had retired but was still interested in local government and so he started urging me to come to some of the meetings. Well, you can't hardly say no to your dad. So I would pick him up for the meetings and we'd come to our town board meetings and uh, I found it intriguing and yes, I was taking an interest in the local government and Carrie Shartner was the clerk treasurer at the time. She was, in, in about 2001, she decided to concentrate more on family matters and um, a, another job that she had. The clerk treasurer, treasurer position at the time was part-time. So I knew I was getting into a part-time job. Anyway, before I knew it, I had filled out candidacy papers and I was elected the new clerk treasurer for the town of Sevastopol. I was splitting my time between the town here as clerk treasurer and the legal department back at Bay Lake Bank again. So um, when the town electors decided that Sevastopol should have its own presence, we were located in a small modular building behind Sevastopol School for quite a few years, using the school for um, voting purposes and when we had large meetings. But Sevastopol is a large municipality. It's um, acreage-wise and population-wise, I believe we're the largest town in all of Door County. So it was time for us to have a presence. So with the consent of the electors and the town board, we moved forward, built this wonderful building um, which the people really appreciate, and it is used quite often. And at that time, the board also decided that since we have this new building, it should be occupied on a full-time basis. So I had to make a decision, stay with the town or stay with the legal department. And after so many years, I had a passion for the town. This was going to be my main concentrating, I was going to concentrate on the clerk treasurer position. So I had to give my notice and became full-time here, and as they say, the rest is history, so. So now you're leaving here. And now I am retiring, yes. I will be 65 next month. Time flies when you're having fun. Indeed. And um, I love my job, like I said, I love it with a passion, but it's just time to do some other things once you reach retirement age. Um, try to lighten up a little bit. I was recently elected to the Door County Board of Supervisors, so that's gonna be my next um, uh, goal. Concentrate on that. I teach some classes at the Y. I hope to do a few more of those. And um, we have hired a replacement clerk treasurer, Amy Fluck. We'll be meeting her in a few minutes here. And Indeed. Mm -hmm. You replaced uh, your boss from Sevastopol on the county board. I did, yes. Um, at the town level, we have a wonderful town board. They're very 
um, upbeat uh, as to our community and what needs to be done. And it's been a pleasure to work with all of the town board members over the past. Our town board chairman since I've been here has been Leo Zipper, who was also on the county board representing District 14. That's the western side of Sevastopol. We actually have two seats on the county board because we're so large. So he decided to retire from county board. I knew I would be retiring from this position. So again, before I know it, I'm filing candidacy papers and I was elected to the, the county board of supervisors. And the, and the adventure continues. Adventure. The adventure continues, and I am really enjoying the county aspect. Mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot about county functions, the various departments, where the money goes, just like at the town here. So this is 15 years of experience as the town clerk, or as it says, clerk treasurer. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in the same room as the town board meets, incidentally. Right. Mm -hmm. um, in that 15 years, what are the most memorable moments for you? Um, I enjoy being next door to the school. We're a community here. I call it a hamlet. Mm -hmm. Sevastopol has two hamlets, Institute and Velmi. So we have our little Institute hamlet here. I think just the community spirit, getting to know so many of our voters, our residents, our seasonal people, it's a true community, and uh, it's one advantage to having a, a live growing up in a small town is that um, community spirit. Um, you're running a business, the business of the town. You have customers, you have vendors, you have properties you have to maintain. We have park facilities that need to be kept up. And um, so it's like a full circle of our community and I have enjoyed every aspect. Is there a memorable moment, one over the other? Um, I've just totally enjoyed my last well, 15 years, Why don't you years, share Peter. some of your memorable moments rather than I guess one. some of the memorable moments would be when we were in the modular trailer building behind school. It was not unusual to look out into the school parking lot. I would see um, snowmobiles, students arriving on snowmobiles students arriving on tractors. Um, I think we might even have a horse or two out there at a time. Our sesquicentennial celebration in August of 2009 was probably the most memorable. We had 30 members from the UW marching band. They were fantastic. We had a parade through Downtown Institute. Um, many, many entries, you know, like I said, neighbors and friends putting a float together. Um, lots of happenings over at the park, a barbecue, and we've got the playground over there. That is probably the most memorable, Peter, mm. that celebration, our 150th anniversary. I, re I didn't realize it was that far back. Mm. I remember the, yeah. the UW band mm -hmm. being here. And it was good timing, too. Um, we moved into this building in April of 2009. We celebrated in August of 2009. So it was good timing. Now you grew up in Sevastopol. I did, yes. Um, and you, you were a farm girl, right? Correct, and farms have changed a lot yeah. over the last 50 years. So in the um, early 50s, while I was growing up on the dairy farm, um, it was very neighborly. We kind of shared um, different aspects of the harvest. One neighbor would have the baler, one neighbor would have the thrashing machine, one neighbor would have the combine. We would go from neighbor to neighbor doing the various jobs. I was a great tractor driver. <laughs> I was paid one cent per bale that came out of the baler. All right. That was it. So, yeah. so it was a nice summer job. Um, and then on the weekends, we would always get together with the neighbors and play cards or bring our dolls, you know, cart everything in the car and go to the neighbors and have a snack and the parents would be playing cards and we kids would be playing together. Mm -hmm. So it was a nice, again, that nice neighborly feeling. And you feeling. said you were, you were raised on a dairy farm. A dairy farm. How many cows? Um, anywhere between 18 and maybe 28 at the highest count. Mm -hmm. 
and we managed to make a decent living with just, you know, on an average of 24 cows. And now you look at the CAFOs. And like I said, farming has changed. Yeah. Um, I hope it is always a part of Door County, um, especially Sevastopol. I think we have a nice balance between residential and rural. And I hope we always have that nice balance. I think that's, we're in the middle of Door County, so maybe perhaps not real touristy oriented. More we can retain our rural character and our neighborly relations, I hope. Well, now being a senior member of the staff of Sevastopol, <laughs> the town of Sevastopol, what advice do you have going forward? Um, stay involved. Keep up on what's happening in your neighborhood at your local level, and that would also include the county level. Uh, Sevastopol, we have excellent voter turnout probably the highest percentage of voter turnout of all the Door County municipalities. So that's something we can be proud of, that our voters are attuned to what's happening. Um, be neighborly, friendly. When is your last day, if I may ask? I'm in the process of phasing out right now, Peter. Um, as I mentioned, we did um, hire a replacement. The board appointed Amy Fluck. She started as of June 20th, so we're into our second week. Um, a lot of tasks that the clerk treasurer do only happen once a year. So we've done the road work. We just finished up the alcohol licensing. We had board of review. So the next big deal will be the election on August 9th, the partisan primary. So there's a lot of things we only do once a year. And I'm here when she needs me. I'm not leaving town or anything like that, so. I understood you, you were going to <clears throat> remain an advisor, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, for about a year or so, is that correct? Um, we'll see how it goes. Amy's catching on very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so I think she's gonna be uh, a good fit for the town. It's gonna be a nice, smooth transition. And like I said, um, you know, if it's a couple mornings a week or whatever, um, whenever she needs me, we'll be here to work together. Who's in charge of the flowers? Um, well, I have been. But I know. <laughs> I, Maybe I'll still come back and tend to the flowers. I, I enjoy being that, outside. So <laughs> I have to tell you that story as I came here on some news business one day in the warm summer, uh, probably in the early afternoon. And there's Linda out front tending to the flowers. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the flowers do look lovely, and, and I'm not sure if Amy's going to be able to handle that. You, mm -hmm. So you said you have to come back. I would more than, be more than welcome to pop in here on occasion, try to stay out of the way, and just uh, tend to the flowers outside. Um, I think um, that's part of the passion that you acquire, that it doesn't seem like work if you love your job. Mm -hmm. So, And you obviously love your job. I do. I do. And um, like I said, I could probably do it for another five, 10 years, but it's just time to do something else and you have also, a fresh outlook on You've also on been job. involved with the Wisconsin Towns Association, yeah, Wisconsin. Door County Chapter. Mm -hmm. Wisconsin Towns Association. I served as uh, chairman for a few terms. Um, I just retired from that position, uh, or retired as secretary treasurer for our unit. So that, that was, um, something else that you take on being involved in local government. I'm also part of the Sebastopol Historical Society. Oh. For instance, we have a meeting tonight, hopefully line up another program or two for the coming year. Um, we have intergovernmental meetings with the other municipalities, including the city and the villages um, on a quarterly basis. So we all kind of keep touch with each other and have a good discussion on what's happening in your locality. Mm -hmm. So it, it is encompassing. Uh, it's not just the town of Sevastopol. You do get to reach out to, oh, I was involved with the Door County Coastal Byway as well. All right, so. I, didn't, I wasn't aware of that. Mm -hmm. On the Historical Society uh, agenda, what do you have coming up? We don't know, Peter. Oh. Like I said, we have a meeting tonight. We have regularly had um, veterans programs. Mm -hmm 
to um, honor our veterans, which thank you for your service. I know you are a veteran and thank very you. involved. Um, we encourage local families to bring their story to us. People love to hear stories. So our very first um, family program was the Bassford family. And uh, they were instrumental in forming the town back in 1848, I believe, 1849, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. So we, like I said, we are looking for families all the time to bring your story. We'll be glad to tell it with a PowerPoint. People love looking at old photos and we'll put them on display. You tell your story, question and answer from the audience. So that's been working out very well. Here in the Institute, you have a couple of uh, historical landmarks, I would suggest. The Catholic Church for sure. And then across the street from that, a fine country bar. Yes. So St. Peter or Saint P Peter and Paul Parish um, started all off, I think, as the Catholic Institute of Knowledge. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But um, yes, so that has been here a long, long time. The school, of course, yeah. one of the first consolidated school districts in uh, Wisconsin, if not the nation. Carl Schultz, one of our local residents and former principal, could give you a long story on the history of Sebastopol. And then I'll like to talk to the producer <laughs> about that. Yes. Right. And then like you said, Peter, the Institute Saloon has been around forever. They have a baseball team, the Institute Cubs, they, they have been around forever. Their home field, of course, is our baseball field next door here. Mm -hmm. so. so now we are at this jumping off point. And yes. you've said that you're going to be teaching more classes. You're going to be involved in county government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I understand you get some grandkids, too. I do. Um, it's kind of scary thinking about retirement. Like yesterday, it was sort of my first day of retirement. I left the house at 7.30 in the morning, and I didn't get back home until 7.30 at night. So if that's retirement, that's okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> I hope to spend more time with my family. I have my older daughter and her family live in La Crosse, beautiful area. Mm -hmm. Um, with my two grandkids, which they're coming to visit grandma for a few days or a week in August. Mm -hmm. My youngest daughter lives in North Carolina with her husband, who is in the Navy. So, Navy yes. in North Carolina? He is in the Navy, and he is in North Carolina. I think they kind of combine forces, uh, like Navy, Marines, and I'm not. He's a medic. Camp Lejeune, okay. Yes. I, I, duh. Yes. Her neighborhood, um, beautiful new subdivision, and it's almost all service families. Mm -hmm. So I was I, out I there. did some time in North Carolina at Fort Bragg. That was why mm -hmm. I was confused about the Navy being anywhere in that state. Yeah. But, all right, uh -huh. yes, yeah. It's a beautiful area. I had never been to North Indeed. Carolina, and I did take a few days and visit her. And so and now you have the opportunity to do some more sure, traveling. Sure, I can do yeah. that, yes. Well, Linda, I can tell you personally, it has been a delight knowing you. It really has. Thank you. And I, Thank you. I will continue to see you as long as I'm uh, covering the county board for the advocate. Yes. Uh, yes. And you know, I would be totally disappointed if, if I wouldn't ever see you mm -hmm. again once you walk out the door here for the final time. Well, and while I have the opportuni opportunity to, I would just like to um, say thank you to the Sevastopol community. It has been nothing but a pleasure working here, um, working with all of the neighbors, the residents, the voters. It's, um, I've enjoyed every single minute. There you go. Linda Waite, retiring town clerk treasurer of the town of Sevastopol. Delightful interview. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, I was able to do this one in particular. This is on Access Door County, Sevastopol TV. I'm Pete Devlin. Mm -hmm.